giving a start to the evening. Um, I need to refer to my notes before I go wrong with it. Uh, every time I speak on, uh, on, on this stage of Small Business Congress, it's been fifth year that we, we are organizing this show, it reminds me of the objective we started this forums. Um, uh, one of the key reasons that we started this forum was we were a small business. Uh, while we continue to be at heart a very small business. And that small business gave us a courage to think big. And in a very small way, when Gaurav started from a small town uh, uh, way back in 1996, when he started his entrepreneurial journey, uh, the fundamental of starting a business in itself was a, was a scary thought because, you know, uh, at, at that age, while we were talking about millennials in, in, in the morning sessions. Uh, it, it was not the best choice for a, for a small business uh, father to think that my son's going to get into a small business himself. And from where it all started, I think the idea was picked up from there. And you know, about five years back when we thought that probably let's create a forum uh, which would which would bring these small businesses, businesses like us, businesses like what we were, together to sort of learn from others, and probably give an inspiration to think big. And I'm I'm gonna take next couple of minutes to sort of explain what the small business for us meant back then. Small business back then meant mindset of small business for us. And a lot of my friends who've grown with me in last decade and a half. Uh, proudly, they are the most powerful brands in the country today, whether it's food or salons or spas, they run it all. What were these businesses about a decade and a half back? These are small businesses run by individual who could broadly say he couldn't do anything else, so he opened up a parlor. He could open up a food outlet for a neighborhood. And from there, it became a great consumer brand. And that's the power of small business. So my learning of small business about five years back started from, a, from an internet research, which said 99.7% of the businesses in America are small business. And when you search the same keyword in Google, which all of us are so fond of these days, that time Google was also a relatively small business. You would realize that small business term is not common in India. In India, the term which is common is SME. And I wonder, you know, as a young guy, what is this SME all about? Because we, have, we, we are very used to calling ourselves business owners. We never used to call ourselves entrepreneurs. Guys, you got to understand that we started, we had, I'm talking about a decade back, almost a decade back when this thought started, you know, hitting us and saying, you know what, this, this entrepreneur world in India was not that common at that point in time. So when, when I did this search, and you could probably do this uh, tomorrow morning, you would not find much about small business in India. You will find about SME in India. In fact, Wikipedia, if you search, you would find that India is one of the countries which is wherein you would search as SME and it will come in. And I started worrying worry about what, what the small business was and what this SME was. So we went to government. We said, uh, we want to do this. We are a forum of small businesses uh, and we need your help. It's only last year that they've identified services, which is 67%. Earlier it was all manufacturing. Shigar jokingly says, if somebody puts up a shabby uh, second hand equipment manufacturing unit, you don't need to worry, you'll get a banking loan you, any bank will give you a loan. But if you really make a state of art salon or a food outlet, I can bet you'll struggle for a loan. That's the reality of the business. Second thing, let's, let's understand from an economic standpoint, all of you are now grown past that age, you'll say probably I'm, I'm representing a franchisee of mine. What is the economic story about India? What's so special about India? One of the biggest things we are, we are talking about India is Indian consumption. Who's servicing this consumption? 
manufacturers who are always going to government and lobbying through these SME forums which are plenty in number saying give us another subsidy, give us another rebate on tax, give us another rebate on exports. Is that what SME forums were meant about? Trust me, I've, I've done more rounds of these government bodies, bankers, most of the private banks I could go to who proudly put SME as their clear focus, they say, how many manufacturers will be sitting in the audience? And more importantly, this forum needs to give me a certain inquiry base. And from that standpoint, you cannot make a forum. When first forum we did, and thankfully SBI was my partner back then also, we brought in MSME ministry. We brought in NSIC. Friends, 90% of the people had not heard of them, not met them. So that's the beauty of small business in this country and unfortunately, government has very little role to play to empower the small business because he is a small guy, small trader who believes that I can do it myself. This morning, I, was, I, I, I probably attended a couple of interesting sessions and the debate was different than most of the association or industry-led forum that you would have been part of it when you use the word SME, not small business. Small business, I don't think you, you would come across many shows. Their discussion is largely about creating an industry status. And there is somebody who's probably leading this whole debate of creating a cluster and representing to the government for certain benefits. And few partners that I'm working with, they say most of the association shows you go you really don't find people having any takeaway. And Ritu was telling me this, this afternoon that our questions were not stopping. People were not stopping to sort of ask questions. So there was so much of content, there was so much of take, takeaway that we were talking about in the Congresses. And that's, that's the fundamental of us. Uh, as an organization, we are about 130 cities that we operate in, about 700 people. And all these 700 people are only trained in one thing, how to knock a small business and tell them how can you grow. And these forums really were about growth. Today what we do is we, we probably organize, starting from small business, which was our first show five years back, about 10 such shows, wherein we bring small businesses of various kinds. In all, we do about 110 shows across 78 cities, engaging about a million small businesses. And all these small businesses have a common agenda to come to our forum, growth. They are hungry for growth. They don't want government subsidy. They are self-determined to make it big. Like Mr. Kumarwell was saying in the, in, the, in the morning session, that probably it, it is within me that I could, I could make it and it is within every small business that he can make it. The only problem with small businesses that we encountered in early days of our life, which we are trying to sort of answer, is small business mindset. Unfortunately, in the environment that we operate, small business does not have a growth mindset because he doesn't have an ecosystem which supports small business. He feels isolated from a fact that he doesn't get noticed. Most of the consumer businesses is what, what my focus right now is. So lastly, friends, this, the foundation of this show and this remains a show of people who believe in small business and I'll very quickly probably create a, uh, uh, a sense for you what small business holds for an Indian economy or Indian business or any business worldwide. Mr. Obama, when he made the last visit in India, it was actually only about small business. 